Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make one of my cube cats. And I think we're gonna be making the little tabby ginger cat here. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna be showcasing and showing off some of the uh, DMC Natura Just Cotton yarn. We're gonna be making the little ginger tabby cat. So I'm gonna pick some, a mixture of like sort of yellowy color and I think I used this color last time so it's going to make another gingery cat so these two colors um, but you can use any colors that you like depending on the type of cat that you want to make you're also going to need a little bit of um, toy stuffing as well so a little bit of toy stuffing use yarn scraps as well if you want to and it's also a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well. And this is one of my crochet hook bags, which I'm currently loving making in my design. I'm setting a few unique exclusive pieces on my website soon, so look out for that. Okay, so the pattern varies slightly depending on whether you're making the little stripy cat here or the black and white cat here. I will put the written pattern to the black and white cat. The reason I've decided to make the little ginger tabby cat is because the, I realized that the white and the black just won't show up on camera. So that was probably a bit of a bad idea. So we're gonna go for this little guy, but I'm gonna put the pattern to both of these in written form on my website soon as well. So when that's available, I'll put a link in the description below, but let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off at the bottom. So I'm gonna pick my lighter yellow color to begin. I'm not even sure if I said what hook size we're gonna be using. It does help, doesn't it? Um, we're gonna be using a three millimeter crochet hook. Uh, if you don't have a three millimeter, you can use something similar, 3.25 or 3.5. Depends on the type of yarn that you're gonna be using. Now this yarn weight, it doesn't, it's one thing I've noticed about DMC is they don't like to tell you what the yarn weight is. It literally is just cotton, they're not gonna tell you. Um, it does tell you down here though, the recommended needle size. Uh, recommended hook size is a three. Um, they don't really give much more information than that, just a three, I presume that's three millimeter. And um, needle size, it says two and a half to three and a half. So this, it feels like a DK weight yarn, maybe slightly thinner, so that'd be sort of light worsted weight, uh, yarn weight of three, just slightly thinner than that maybe. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with eight single crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology, but a single crochet in UK terminology is a double crochet. So we're gonna start off with eight single crochet in a four chain loop. So we're gonna start off with our slip knot. Okay, so we're gonna do our little slip knot to begin, and then we're gonna chain four to get a chain four loop. So it's chain one, two, three, four, so chain four. We're gonna put our hook into our first chain by our slip knot, bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on your hook to do a little slip stitch. And that creates a little loop of your four chains joined at the beginning and the end. And in the middle is a hole. Don't confuse it with your first chain hole, which can look quite big. Into there, we're gonna do eight single crochet and it does help to do a little chain one to begin so do a little chain one don't count that as a stitch though just ignore that just gives a bit of leverage put your hook into the center of your loop bring the yarn through and then just wrapping it around the chains we're going to do a single crochet i'm going to do eight of those so that's one back into the middle bring the yarn through got two loops yarn over pull through two to do a single crochet two, back into the middle again, three, four, five, six, seven and one more eight so you've got eight single crochet and if you worked into the middle you should be able to just pull in that center almost like a magic circle a little bit if it doesn't pull in it probably means you've worked into a chain by accident so you should have eight single crochet and what we're going to do now is we're going to skip our little chain one we did find your first single crochet and we're going to slip stitch into there so find that first single crochet 
make sure to go under the both loops and do a slip stitch in there. Okay, so by the end of that round, you'll have eight single crochet. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one again. Don't count that as a stitch. And starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, get back into there and do two single crochet. Okay, do two single crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch. Okay. And we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to double up our stitch count to 16. So then go into the next stitch and do two single crochet. So one and two. So two in there, two in the next one. And just keep doing two single crochet in each stitch around until you've got a stitch count of 16. So you can count as you go if you want to. And two in the last one. And it always looks like there's one left after that, but that's what I call the fake stitch. Which I've actually noticed some other people have started calling it, which is quite funny. <laughs> so that's what I call a little fake stitch there. Um, but you should have a stitch count of 16, so just count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So don't work into that by accident, that will end up increasing your stitches too many. So skip that, skip your tiny chain one, which probably disappeared and slip stitch into your first single crochet to join the round. Okay. Bring the arm through there and straight for the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. Okay, so that's the end of round two. Should have a stitch count of 16. Now we're going to work on round three. Another increase round. So chain one again. Don't count that as a stitch. Starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into, do one single crochet, just the one. Just the one, then two single crochet in the next stitch. One and another one, same stitch. And then we're going to repeat that pattern, doing one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one. Then two single crochet. One and another one, the same stitch. Okay, and then just repeat that round, doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning. You'll end up with a stitch count of 24. Okay, 24. So one single crochet, then two single crochet. Back to the beginning, and you'll end on two single crochet. Okay, just coming up to the last two. One single crochet and you'll end on two single crochet. Okay, and then there's your little fake stitch, which is a bit smaller. Skip your chain one and find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there to join around. And you should have a stitch count of 24. And then we're going to move on to round four. So for round four, we're going to start off with a little chain one again. This time, starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, we're going to do one single crochet in the first two. So one single crochet in there, then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay. Then we're going to do two single crochet, which should line up with your previous two single crochet, your previous increase. So two single crochet in there, one and two. And then just repeat that, one single crochet in the next two. So one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. Then two single crochet. So it's just normal working a circle at the moment two, so you've got two in there, and just repeat that, doing one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning, you'll end on two single crochet, and you'll have a stitch count of 32, 32, okay, okay, last stitch, should end on two single crochet, should line up with your previous increases, 
and then just slip stitch into that first single crochet to join the round. Okay, so I hope it looks a little something like that. You should have a stitch count of 32. Then we're going to do one more increase round. So we're going to do a little chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. Starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into, we're going to do one single crochet in the first three. So one single crochet, then one single crochet, then one single crochet, and then two single crochet, and it should line up. One and another on the same stitch, two. Then we're going to repeat that all the way around, doing one single crochet in the next three, then two single crochet, one single crochet in the next three, then two single crochet, back to the beginning, you'll end on two single crochet, and you'll have a stitch count of 40. Okay, 40, so that's one single crochet in the next three, one, 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 then two single crochet. Okay, just coming up to the last stitch, ending on two single crochet. If you're not ending on two single crochet, then you've gone wrong somewhere. Then we're just going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. Okay, by the end of this round, that's the end of our increases, should have a stitch count of 40. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to work rounds six, seven, eight, nine. So that's four rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch round. We're going to do that just in this color. We're not going to do any color changes yet. So we start off with a little chain one and starting each round in the last stitch you just slip stitch into, do one single crochet and just do one single crochet in each stitch around back to the beginning. Keeping a stitch count of 40 we're going to do that for four rounds, okay? Four rounds, that's round six, seven, eight, nine, four rounds. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. Just slip stitching at the end in your first single crochet. Four rounds. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the last stitch on the fourth round. I've just done four rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around, so no increases and then just slip stitch to join the round. You still have a stitch count of 40 and hopefully your little project is starting to become bowl shaped like this. So it's starting to come in. If it's not, it means you're adding stitches somewhere. Okay, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some, uh, some color changes to get his little side stripes. And to do that, we're gonna start off with a little chain one. We're gonna do one single crochet in the first five, so. Starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into, do one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five. In the fifth one, we're going to join our next colour. So we're going to bring the yarn through, but when we finish our stitch, instead of finishing with the same colour, we're going to bring, bring in our other colors so I'm going to use this color it's like dark orange and instead of yarning over with that yellow we're going to yarn over with our orange so I'm just going to hold that with my finger and bring that through to finish that last single crochet and that creates a really nice color change okay and then now we're working with our orange. We're going to do one single crochet in the next 10. We're going to carry our yellow as we go. So go into the next stitch and to carry our yarn, we're just going to make sure that tail ends out the way. <laughs> going to make sure that our yellow is just over our hook before we do bring our yarn through. So. Bring that through the stitch, do a single crochet in the next 10, so it's one. Next stitch, again, making sure to carry that yarn by making the hook, the yarn go over the top of your hook. Bring that through, two. Three. 
three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then in the tenth one, we're going to rejoin our yellow. Let's go into the stitch, bring the yarn through. Just give your yellow a little bit of a tug just to make sure that there's no loops appearing. But it should just be sat there, ready and waiting. We're going to bring that up instead in the yarn over. Finish that last tenth stitch with the yellow. Okay, and then we're working with our yellow again. We're going to do one single crochet in the next ten. And we're going to carry the orange this time. So just make sure that's above your hook. It sits on top of your work. So one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and then the tenth one, we go in, grab the yellow, but instead of yarning over with the yellow, we're going to pick up the orange again. And finish that tenth stitch with the orange. Okay, so you get some nice clean colour changes then, otherwise the orange would be feeding into the yellow. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next 10 in the orange for his other stripe. Again, carrying that yellow. One. Two. Oh, and 10, but instead of yarning over the orange, we're gonna bring up our yellow again. 10. Almost forgot, so always change the color in the last stitch, the last part of the stitch. Then we're going to finish up with just one single crochet in the last five. You should have five left. We'll carry our orange to the end. One, two, and five. And then we're going to slip stitch in our first single crochet to join the round. So that's one round with his stripes. Now what we're going to do is, I hope it looks still something like this. Now we're just going to do a plain round of just yellow. So just one single crochet in each stitch round, just in the yellow, so no colour changes. So just chain one at the beginning. You don't need to carry the yarn, you can leave the orange there. Starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into, just do one single crochet in each stitch round in the yellow. Keeping a stitch count of 40. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. Okay, so just come up to the last stitch on that round. Slip stitch to join. Okay, now we're going to do another colour change round for his next round of stripes. Slightly different to last time, purely just to get the colours to line up better. We're going to start off a little chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in the first six this time. Remember to carry your orange. Starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into. I'm just going to carry that orange by putting our hook underneath it. Do one single crochet in the first six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, bring the yellow through. We're going to join the colour in the end of that stitch. So just put your yellow down, bring up the orange, finish that sixth stitch 
with the orange. Now we're working with our orange. We're going to do one single crochet in the next 10. Remember to carry the yellow. So one single crochet in the next 10 in the orange. So one. Two. Nine. And join the yellow in the 10th one. So drop the orange, bring up the yellow to finish that 10th stitch. Then we're going to be doing one single crochet in the next nine in the yellow. So one, carrying the orange, two, three, eight, and then the last one, nine, we join the orange. So drop the yellow down. Bring up the orange for the ninth one. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next 10 in the orange, carrying the yellow. So remember to carry the yellow. So the next 10. So one, two, three, nine and join the yellow in the last one 10 orange through put the orange down bring up the yellow 10. then we're going to finish up with one single crochet in the last five but i'm still going to carry that orange to the end so one and five then we're just going to slip stitch in that first stitch and then we are going to just do a normal round of just one single crochet in each stitch round we're going to do that in the yellow so we just chain one to begin starting in the same stitch slip stitched into so just do one single crochet in each stitch round in the yellow keeping a stitch count of 40. Okay. just a round of yellow okay just coming up to the last stitch and Slip stitch to join. Then we are going to move on to the last stripey round. So we'll do a little chain one. We'll do one single crochet in the first six. Starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into. I'm going to carry that orange as well. Two. And then join the orange in the sixth one. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next ten in the orange, carrying the yellow. And the last tenth one, we're going to rejoin the yellow. So put the orange down, bring up the yellow. And then with the yellow, we're going to do one single crochet in the next ten. So I'm just trying to find my orange. The next 10. Okay, so carrying the orange. And the 10th one, we're going to rejoin the orange. And we're going to do one single crochet in the next 10 in the orange. The next 10 carrying the yellow. Then in the tenth one, we rejoin the yellow. So we drop the orange, pick up the yellow, finish that stitch with the yellow. Then we're going to finish up with one single crochet in the last, uh, however many there are, how many left in the last four. We're going to carry the orange to the end. So one. Two, three, and four. And then we're going to slip stitch to join the round. Okay, so you still have a stitch count of 40. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch round in the yellow. So just do a yellow round. So we're going to do a chain one, starting in the same stitch, slip stitch into, do one single crochet in each stitch around just in the yellow. 
Okay. Okay, you're just coming up to the last stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch to join the round. And that is the end of the length of the cat. Okay. So obviously with the black and white cat, you'll have different color changes in different places. Where's my, where's he gone? You'll have different color changes in different places, but it's the same principle. You just change the color in the end of the last stitch, but um, I'll put the written pattern on my website soon for the little black and white one. What we're going to do now is we're going to work on the top part and these stripes here. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to do a little chain one. And we're going to do one single crochet in the first three and we're going to carry our orange. So starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into, carry that orange. And do one single crochet in the first three. So one, two, then in the third one we're going to join the orange. So just before we finish that, we're going to put the yellow down and pick up the orange in the third stitch. Three. Okay, now we're working with the orange and we're going to do, just do one single crochet in the orange, so just the one. And we're going to rejoin the yellow in that same stitch. So we go in, we bring the orange through, but instead of yarning over with the orange, put that back down, pick up the yellow again. Okay, so we just do the one in the orange. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next 14 in the yellow and we're going to carry the orange. So make sure it's above your hook and do one single crochet in the next 14. So one. And then in the 14th stitch we're going to rejoin the orange. So we'll put the yellow down and pick up the orange in the 14th stitch. Okay. And then we're going to do just the one single crochet in orange, just the one. We're going to rejoin the yellow at the same time. So bring the orange through, but then put the orange down and pick up the yellow to finish that stitch. So just the one in orange. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five. So just the next five. Carry the orange. So one. two, three, four, and five. And then in the fifth one, we're going to rejoin the orange. So put the yellow down, bring up the orange for the fifth stitch. Then we are going to do, what are we going to do? Just the one single crochet in orange, just the one. And we'll carry the yellow and the orange through, then drop the orange, bring up the yellow, just to do the one. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next 13, okay? The next 13, and we're going to carry that orange as well. So the next 13. Then in the 13th one, we're going to rejoin the orange and we're going to just do one single crochet in the orange and then rejoin the yellow. So bring the orange through, drop the orange, bring up the yellow to finish the stitch. Then we're going to finish up the very end with just the one single crochet. You should have just one stitch left. I'm still going to carry the orange to the end. And then we're going to slip stitch to join that round so don't work into your fake stitch just slip stitch to join so you should still have a stitch count of 40 by the end of that round you should have two little orange dots at the back and two at the front and now we're going to move on to some decreasing so we're going to be changing colors in decreases so a little bit more complicated okay so what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. We're going to carry that orange, come here orange, do one single crochet in there, okay one single crochet in there. We're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch as well but we're going to join the orange. 
So carry that orange, bring yellow through, but we're going to drop the yellow and we're going to yarn over with the orange to finish that stitch. Okay, then we're going to do one single crochet in the orange. We're going to carry that yellow. And then we're going to single crochet two together, but as we finish the single crochet two together, we're gonna to rejoin the yellow. To do that is we're gonna go into the next stitch and we're gonna make sure we're carrying that yellow. Bring the yarn through, then we're gonna go into the next stitch as well, just like doing a normal single crochet two together, and then bring the orange through there. So we've got our three loops and then we normally just yarn over, pull through all three to finish the single crochet two together. But instead of yarning over with the orange, we're going to drop the orange, bring up the yellow. So that single crochets two together and rejoins our yellow at the same time. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three in the yellow. We're going to carry that orange. So... One, two, three. So one single crochet in the next three. And then we're gonna single crochet two together, just normally though this time. So go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, go into the next stitch, still carrying the orange, bring the yarn through, and just yarn over, pull through all three, but in the same color. Okay, then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. So one, two, three. Then we're going to single crochet two together, just normally. So into the next stitch, stop, into the next stitch, and yarn over, pull through all three. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two, and then we're going to join the orange again. So, so one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, but we're going to join the orange. So we're going to drop the yellow, and bring up the orange. There we go. Let's finish that stitch in the orange. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, carrying that yellow. Then we're going to single crochet two together but rejoin the yellow. So we're going to go into the next stitch. Bring the yarn through, stop to the next stitch, bring the yarn through, but instead of yarning over with the orange, we're going to pick up the yellow and finish that decrease with the yellow. Okay, then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three, still carrying the orange. So one. two and three but in the third one we're going to rejoin the orange so drop the yellow pick up the orange okay then we're going to single crochet two together we're just going to do that normally so no color changes so into the next stitch stop into the next stitch I'm still carrying that yellow though Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, but we're going to rejoin the yellow. Okay, so then drop the orange, pick up the yellow. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. Still carrying the orange. One and 
two. Then we're going to single crochet two together normally. So just yarn over, pull through all three. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. Then we'll single crochet two together. Just normally. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So that's one. Then in the next one we're going to rejoin the orange. So let's drop the yellow, bring up the orange. Then we're going to do one single crochet, carrying the yellow. Then we're going to single crochet the last two together and rejoin the yellow at the end. So the last two stitches, bring the yarn through to the very last stitch, bring the yarn through. Instead of yarning over with the orange, we're going to yarn over with the yellow, bring that through, Just pull that, and then slip stitch into your first single crochet. So that's the end of that round there. You should now have a stitch count of, that should have gone down to, should have gone back down to 32 and now we're going to move on to round 18, our next decrease round. Okay, so moving on to the next round, I'm going to start off with a chain one. Chain one. And we're going to do one single crochet in the first two, starting in the same stitch we slip stitched into. I'm going to carry that orange. Then we're going to rejoin the orange in the next stitch. Bring the yarn through. And so we we'll drop the orange, uh, drop the yellow and bring up the orange. Okay, so one single crochet in the first two, rejoin the orange in the second one, then we're going to single crochet two together, just normally. So next stitch. Okay, then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, we're going to rejoin the yellow. Drop the orange, pick up the yellow. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to carry the orange. Just the one single crochet. Then we're going to single crochet two together, just normally. Then we'll do one single crochet in the next two. Still carrying that orange. Then single crochet two together, just normally. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, but we're going to rejoin the orange. So drop the yellow and pick up the orange. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Carrying the yellow. Then we're going to single crochet two together, but we're going to rejoin the yellow in our decrease. So 
So we're going to the next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop, next stitch. Bring the yarn through, but instead of yarning over the orange, we're going to pick up the yellow. Pull for all three. Okay, now we're working with the yellow again. We're going to do one single crochet in the next two. Now, this is going to be a little bit more interesting. We're going to single crochet two together, but we're going to join the orange halfway through. So we're going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through. Let's do that a bit better. Into the next stitch, bring the yarn through. Go into the next stitch, but bring the orange through. Okay, so go into the next stitch bring the orange through. So you end up with two loops of yellow and one of orange and then we're going to yarn over with the orange Pull that all the way through. It just adds a little bit of extra colour being very pedantic. <laughs> then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. In the orange, carrying the yellow In the second one, we're going to rejoin the yellow. So we drop the orange, pick up the yellow. Okay. Then we are going to do single crochet two together in the yellow, just normally. I'm going to carry that orange though. Then one single crochet in the next two. One and two. Then we're going to single crochet two together. Just normally. Then we're going to do one single crochet, but we're going to join the orange. So we're going to drop the yellow, pick up the orange. Bring that through instead. Then with the orange, we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. We're carrying that yellow. Then we're going to single crochet two together, but we're going to join the yellow at the end. So it's the next stitch, stop. It's the next stitch. Then drop the orange, yarn over with the yellow. Then slip stitch to join the round. Okay, so that's the end of that round and hopefully it looks a little something like this. Then we're going to move on to the last the last round and we're going to start off with chaining one. And we'll do one single crochet in that same stitch we just slip stitched into. Okay, then we're going to single crochet two together but we're going to join the orange. So we're going to carry the orange into the next stitch, stop, into the next stitch, bring the yarn through still, but then we'll drop the yellow and yarn over with the orange. Now we're working with the orange, we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, carry that yellow, then we're going to single crochet two together a normal one too. I'm carrying that yellow. And 
and then we're going to do one single crochet and we're going to single crochet two together Then we're going to do one single crochet. Then we're going to single crochet two together but rejoin the yellow. So, let's move these guys that way. Single crochet two together. Instead of yarning over with the orange, we're going to yarn over with the yellow. And then we're going to do one single crochet, the next stitch, carry the orange. Then we're going to single crochet two together but join the orange. So drop the yellow. And yarn over with the orange. Then we do one single crochet. Then we single crochet two together. Yarn over normally with the orange. Then we do one single crochet. Single crochet two together. Just normally. Then one single crochet. Then you should have two stitches left. We're going to single crochet those two together and then we're going to rejoin the yellow. So drop the orange, yarn over with the yellow, and then we're going to slip stitch to join. And just slip stitch to join. Okay, and then we've finished with the the orange, so we can cut our orange and get that out of the equation. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to, at this point we need to stuff, just tuck your orange in there, we're going to stuff our little cat. Let's get some stuffing. Okay, so I finished stuffing my little cat and now what we're going to do is we're just going to single crochet two together until it's closed. So we're going to do a little chain one and starting in the same stitch slip stitch into we're just going to single crochet two together all the way around. Single crochet those two together and we're just going to do it all in yellow. until the hole's closed. And you've still got a little hole left. What we're going to do is we're going to just cut our yarn, leave a little bit for sewing, just pull that out and take a yarn needle. I'm going to go drawstring it sewn closed. So go into the next stitch, out the next one, just pull that. It's the next stitch out for the next. Let's give it a little pull into the next, out for the next, until that hole is closed. And then when you're happy, just going to 
so over somewhere. Then go back in where you came out and over to the other side. Somewhere for it out for a stitch. That disappears in there. And then we just put our project down and push your project down and just hold that tight, cut as close as you can. Let it bounce back and the tail ends hidden on the inside. And there we go, there is the basics of our little um, tabby cat with the stripes across the top and around the side. And now what we're gonna move on to are the little feet, which are the same for the black and white cat. And we're gonna do a tail as well. This one I just did in white with a black tip. This one I did just stripey with an orange tip. So these are both the same. This cat I did four feet and this one only did two. So it completely depends on what you want to do. So this one stands up more rigidly and this one sort of got more laid back expression. So you can do four feet or two feet, it's entirely up to you. And then we're just gonna do some ears and they're the same for each cat as well. So we'll just move on to the feet now. I think we'll make a little foot. So this, I think this one, I'm going to do a some odd coloured feet. Let's give them a little orange foot and a little yellow foot or something. <laughs> okay, so for the feet, we're going to start off very similarly to the main cat. We're going to do eight single crochet in a four chain loop. So first thing to do is to do our slip knot, chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into your first chain. To form a loop. And then into that center of that loop, we're gonna do eight single crochet. I'm gonna start off with a little chain one again, just for leverage. Then finding the center of that loop, not the first chain hole, which can look quite big. Put your hook. So then just wrapping it around, do a single crochet. We want eight of those, so one. Two, one more, eight. Should be able to pull the hole in a bit. And we'll slip stitch into that first single crochet. Slip stitch into there. Then we're going to just do um, two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch round. So we're gonna keep a stitch count of eight. So we start off with a little chain one start in the same stitch slip stitched into don't count the chain one as a stitch and do one single crochet in each stitch around so keeping a stitch count of eight we'll do that for two rounds okay just go up to the last stitch on the second round so i've just done two rounds just two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch round so i've still got a stitch count of eight remember not to work into that fake stitch it can really look like a first stitch and then just slip stitch into your First single crochet. Check your stitch count is eight. It's not a big deal if it's nine or seven. <laughs> you just want to create a little tiny foot like this. Then that's it for the foot. We're going to leave a little bit for sewing onto our body. Then just repeat that, those steps, for as many feet as you need and want to use. So whether that's two or four. I'm just going to trim down there badge you can use that stuffing and then sew that on to the body at the front so this is going to be we're going to make the seam at the back so this will be the front and i'm going to put just the little feet to the front there and just sew those on so let's do that for this one you can put stuffing in if you want to uh you don't have to first thing i'm going to do is sew through that stitch again just to neaten off the end of that yeah, you can put stuffing in if you want to. Uh, I didn't bother with these ones, they're just loose. Um, and then I'm just going to just roughly position my feet and sew them on. As neatly as I can. No particular method to sewing, 
just as neatly as you can. So I'm going to sew that on and repeat it for the other side, then I'll come back and show you how to do the tail. Just okay, so I've that. repeated that for the other foot, so I've just done one in yellow and I've sewn that on. And now we're going to move on to the tail. Now the tail is exactly the same as the foot as well. We just end up doing, um, instead of just two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch round, we're going to do uh, up to nine. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's seven rounds instead. So we just start off the same. Um, let's start off with, what did I do for this one? You can pretty much do anything you want for the tail. You can do a stripy one like this. Um, so we're going to start off with a darker orange and we're going to work eight single crochet into a four chain loop but for the black and white one I just started off with black then finished up in yellow uh, in white so it's entirely up to you you can have a play with colors so chain four two three four slip stitch so the first one to form a loop do a little chain one for leverage and I do eight single crochet into the center of this full chain loop. So one, seven and one more, eight. So exactly the same as the foot, Just pull that in, slip stitch in the first stitch a single crochet and then I'm going to do a couple of rounds in the orange I think I think I did about a couple of rounds here in the orange so I'll do a couple of rounds in the orange do a little chain one starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into do one single crochet in each stitch round so you're keeping a stitch count of eight just like the feet I'm going to do two rounds in orange to begin Okay, so I've done a couple of rounds in the orange and then remember not to work into that fake stitch. Do check your stitch count is eight. I'm going to slip stitch to join my second round and then I'm going to join the yellow. I'll do that in the chain one. So slip stitch. I'm going to change colour. Get my yellow. And I'm just going to put that over my hook and with my chain one, I'll join it in my chain one. That tight. Then I'm going to do a round in the yellow. Just starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into. Do one single crochet in each stitch around. Putting those tails. Eight, then slip stitch in the first stitch, and then I'm going to do a round in the orange again. So I can just drop that and join the orange in the chain one, and then do starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into, do a round in orange, like so. And so I'm going to alternate between doing. I'm going to do a round in yellow, which I've just done, do a round in orange, another round in yellow, round in orange, maybe a couple of rounds in yellow, and uh, then I'll sew that on like I did the feet. So I shall do that and I'll come back. It's fairly straightforward, so I won't do it on camera. It's just alternating to make a stripy tail, keeping a stitch count of eight. Okay, so I've just repeated that. I've done another, I did the row of orange, did another row of yellow, then of orange, and I've done a couple of rounds of uh, yellow. So, in total, I think I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rounds. Uh, so, nine rounds in total. And then I'm just going to sew this on just like I did the feet. No, that's the wrong one, it's already got a tail. <laughs> so, then just sew this on the same way as you did the feet. You can add a bit of stuffing if you want to. Okay, so there we go. I've sewn his little tail on. And all that's left to do now is his ears and a little face. So for the ears, I'm going to... I did this one I did in yellow. Let's try give him some orange ears. Let's give him some orange ears. It's a good thing about this pattern. You can just do what you like with regards to colours. You can go crazy. 
So for the ears, what we need to do is we need to chain six to begin. So we're going to leave a little bit of a tail end to make it easier to sew that in. So we're going to chain six. Okay, right. Chain one, two, three, four, five, and six. So chain six. Then we're going to do one single crochet in our second stitch from our hook. So don't count the loop on your hook. There's first, there's second. Do one single crochet in there. And we'll do one single crochet in each chain along. So one single crochet in the next chain. One single crochet in the next chain. One single crochet in the next chain and one single crochet in the last chain. So you should have a stitch count of five. Okay, so a stitch count of five. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to turn our work. So we're not going to chain one or anything, we're just going to literally turn our work. We're going to do one single crochet in that very first stitch. and one single crochet in each stitch across, so keeping a stitch count of five, so one in the next, two, one single crochet in the next stitch, three, one in the next, and the very last one, single crochet in the last one's right on the corner. So you've still got a stitch count of five. Then we're going to turn our work again and we're going to skip the first stitch. So skip the first one and do one single crochet in the remaining four. So skip the first one, do one single crochet in the remaining four. Two. Three. Last one, four. Then turn our work, do the same thing again, skip the first one, do one single crochet in the remaining three. One, two, three. Then turn your work again, do the same thing again, skip the first one, do one single crochet in the remaining two. One and two. So that leaves a stitch count of two. Then turn your work, last row, skip the first one, and do one single crochet in the second stitch, the last stitch. Okay. So you end up with a little triangle like that. Then what we're going to do is have a little bit for sewing. Just pull that out and then what we're going to do, that's going to be the top. So we're going to get this yarn down to this corner so we can sew it in. We're going to get our yarn needle. And this is going to be the top. So what we want to do is just gently sew down bit by bit. Trying to keep a point at the end until you get down to the bottom again. Okay. And so when you're then down there, we're going to just sew this onto our cat. So let's find a nice position, turn it around this way, start this side, let's lay it flat, it's probably the easiest, and then just sew it on. 
Okay, so I've sewn that one on. Then all you need to do is repeat those steps for the other ear. Whoops. And, uh, and then we just need to put a little face on. So I'm going to repeat that for the other ear, then I'll come back. Okay, so I've done that for the, just repeated those steps for the other ear and sewn that on. And all that's left to do now is to give him a face. So nice and simple. First thing to do is take a short length of the darker colour you've been using. So that may be black, it may be the, the orange. And we're just going to, at one end, we're going to do a couple of knots on top of each other. So... A little knot near one end so you're leaving a longer end one end and then do another knot on top of that okay, just make sure that lands on top then taking the longer end we're going to thread that onto our yarn needle and let's find a little position here then we're going to come out the other side there so you can just work out where your eyes are going to be then that little knot will catch that side then what we're going to do is we're going to create two knots this side and we're just going to create a knot this side and what I do is I just loop it around like that then go underneath create a little knot like that and I just put my finger on top of that and then pull and that will get a nice close knot to your project Then do the same thing again so we just put the loop to this side tuck our needle underneath and then try and get it to catch underneath the previous knot just put your finger on it pull there we go don't worry if it's not really really close to your project because when you sew it back in it'll pull down. So then we're going to sew back in through that hole and then we're going to come out just somewhere in the middle to do a little mouth, so probably about there. So let's bring that over to there. To about there. just go over very slightly I think maybe I'll just come actually to the other stitch just one stitch over I should move over there we go I'm gonna have a little mouth like that so I'm gonna go over to two stitches over then I'm gonna come out for the middle one then it looks very serious at the moment but if I just pull that down it'll give them a little smile so I'm going to just go down a stitch and let's just bring that out somewhere just to get it out of the way that should just pull that down there we go see creates a little smile so i'm just going to hide this tail end and i'm going to sew in this tail end and then uh, that's pretty much it so just do the same thing and there we go there's our little finished cat this little face and he can join his other friends here <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed that tutorial i hope you managed to follow along like i said i'll uh, when the written version is available i'll put it on my website at happyberry.co.uk and i'll do that for the black and white one as well so you know where to change the colors for the black and white one but you could also make all types of different cats you could do a plain white cat if you wanted to you could do a Siamese cat where you could just do one whole plain color and then just have a little circle of crochet with some little eyes and look very Siamese it's entirely up to you and the great thing about this is they're like little stackable toys <laughs> so I will see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching and uh, yeah see you soon bye Stackable cats. Be really good if you could put magnets inside of these. They might stick to each other. See, good toy idea.